Okay, we have no idea how long the unicorn was infected before it killed over, so we should figure this out right now. I thought only one monster comes for the urn at a time. Except the unicorn wasn't the monster. It was just the host to this thing, a parasite. It hitched a ride here in that Trojan horse, and then it moved on to us. From what Hope describes, it sounds like it latches on to the prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain associated with inhibitions. Because I was slug drunk. Since we have multiple slugs, it must replicate inside the host and then lie and wait for the opportunity to infect someone else. I'm good on the gory details, thank you. How do we stop it? That's the weirdest part. I can't find any ancient legends about a creature like this. Invasion of the Body Snatchers? The faculty, I say again, Wrath of Khan. Sci-fi is our modern day myths, meaning they could have been inspired by something, right? In those movies, it's all about mind control. Before the slug popped out, Hope wanted to take the urn someplace. I'm guessing Malivor. So it's like an infection. It gets worse as it spreads. Stage one, it, it lowers your inhibitions. It makes you act out of character. Stage two, once you're susceptible to suggestion, you'll do whatever the slug wants. So stage three, you go the way of the unicorn. Did you see this? Parts of this thing look bioluminescent. Let me check that out. Whoa. You see that? Mm. Ah. I don't want to know, do I? Probably not. Nope, nope. You know what? We can use these lights to find anyone who's been infected. 